Good morning, pumpkins. How are you guys? One pumpkin, another pumpkin. You're always chewing on something. What is wrong with you, buddy? All right, guys. I went ahead and threw on my stock mufflers just because I wanted to see how the car sounds with the stock mufflers on. And let me tell you, it is so quiet. <laughs> it's un it's unbearable how quiet it is actually. So let me give you a cold star and then we'll talk about it when we're on the way to work. freaking quiet it's crazy i mean uh that's what this car sounded like stock and i totally forgot what it sounded like so i basically did the muffler delete right away and i've been loving it ever since speaking about the muffler delete i got it right here on the side with my v bands that are the easiest connections ever but let's go ahead in the car and talk oh frenchie you're driving charlie where you're going to your bed I mean, come on guys, a little bit of room in here would be nice. All right guys, good morning. We are on the way to work. Well, I'm going to drop off the kids by my wife's job. But I want to talk to you guys today about, you might be wondering why I put the stock, basically the stock exhaust back on. The only thing that's changed now is that I don't have secondary cats anymore. But the car basically sounds the same as it would stock it might have a little deeper tone to it but not by much um super quiet on the inside basically it's i mean it's silent in here um compared to my muffler to the you know when you were on it you could actually hear the exhaust and everything which was which was nice and i loved it but my wife would always complain your exhaust is too loud it's too annoying blah 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 and for the past two years, I'm tired of her complaining and complaining and never wanting to drive in my car. So uh, I just threw on the stock uh, axle back section, which is on V-bands, super easy to connect, takes about 10 minutes to get it all done. And I've been driving like this for the past four days because I have ordered a new exhaust that is coming in and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But for those of you that are local and are interested, my muffler delete for the GSF is going to be for sale. I'm asking $1,000, and that's going to include the entire mid pipe back. Okay, so cap back, it's going to be. Sorry, sir, his little chain is rattling here. It's driving me crazy. So that's going to include the cat back section because, as you know, my cat, my mid pipe where the mid pipe connects to the axle back, I had the shop do a custom V-band connection. So there's no, you know, bolts and flanges every time and you're gonna be replacing gaskets, yada, yada, every time you change up your setup. So I had the shop Cornwell Customs do V-bands so I could swap the, you, you know, if I want it quiet, throw on the stock mufflers on the V-band. If I want it loud, throw on the muffler delete and easy breezy. So. I'm asking a grand for that, whoever's local wants it. I do need your stock cat back though, because just in case I wanna sell the car or whatnot, I wanna have a stock system that I could throw on so I could sell it back to the dealer or whatnot. If you're interested, hit me up, let me know. My hair's looking crazy. Anyway, Frenchie, I'm gonna need you to come over here, buddy. Come over here and lay down. There you go, pumpkin. Um, so let's talk about what exhaust I looked into before the, I made my final decision to get what I got. So originally I was a huge, huge, huge fan of the Meister shaft setup because it just sounded bitching. Okay super loud super deep and it, it was a valve setup but 
they are just completely out of my price range. I mean, just the, I mean, the full setup with the muffler, I mean, with the mufflers and the mid pipe, I think it's run like six, seven, eight thousand dollars and there's no chance in hell that I'm paying that much for, for some pipes. So second best option was the RR Racing Bazooka, which was also a valve setup, which I was, a, you know, I like that it's a valve setup. Um, initially, since, you know, it is a valve setup, but when the valves are closed, it goes through a small single muffler. And then when the valves are open, you essentially have a muffler delete because it's just a straight pipe with a with resonators. So I knew that was going to be exactly what I had here, super loud, maybe even louder because the pipes are a little bit bigger, better flowing, and less restrictions on the resonators that are aftermarket compared to stock. So I figured, you know, that would be a great option to have a valve setup, but loud mode would be probably pretty decent sounding and pretty loud and quiet mode would be probably a little bit louder than stock but it shouldn't be too crazy but then again I figured most of my driving I mean I, I commute to work 10 miles each way and it's all basically stop and go traffic okay it just sucks in the Chicago streets that I have I just there's just no open roads for me to get on it so I mean there's there's maybe two sections that I could kind of get into it maybe up to 60 other than that it's just you know regular street driving so I figured why would I get a valve set up when most of the time it's gonna be freaking closed and I'm gonna pay just the you know the, the price for a valve setup so I talked to a few people they sent me a few clips of their exhaust setup which is the Joe Z PTS setup that uh, Lou from Modern Japan has, has had on his GSF for the past 30,000 miles and loves it. Another buddy who had a blue GSF, I will post videos of his exhaust setup that he sent me. I think it sounds pretty dang decent. And there's a black GSF that I believe it's in Abu Dhabi or somewhere in the Middle East that just got the Josie exhaust installed. And I hear, heard it on YouTube and it sounds pretty damn good. Um, so it has, it's a full cap back with resonators and with mufflers. The sound is, it's basically perfection. It's no rasp. It is slightly louder than stock, but it's going to flow better than stock. So I figured I still want sound out of my car because this stock setup, I can't, I can't deal with this, how quiet it is on the exterior. Nobody hears me, nobody, nothing. So I want something that's going to flow good and sound a little bit better. So I decided to get the Josie exhaust, which is coming in in a few days. I'm going to make a video of the unboxing and kind of the install, which is pretty straightforward. And uh, we'll get some, we'll get a lot of exhaust clips of that setup because there's very, very, very few videos of the Joe Z exhaust on the GSFs. There's a couple on the RCF that are like five years old. They are outdated, probably done on horrible microphones. So I'm excited to see what the car is going to sound like, how it's going to perform. But that's basically the update, guys. So the next video, we're going to be taking off the stock mid pipe and the stock, basically the stock setup and installing the Joe Z. So stay tuned for that one. Make sure you subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so and hit that bell icon so every video I post, you're going to be up to date and you won't miss anything. Okay, guys? All right, the puppies are knocked out. I'm going to drive safely, get them to where they need to go, and I'll see you guys in the next video.